Okay, so now it's October, and I know back in August, I see my doctor, and she said my kidneys and my liver look good. She wouldn't have to check anything for like a year, and my thyroid, you know, looks good too. Um, but when I went and seen her last month, which was September, she noticed that the white of my eyes were, um, they're better now. They were uh, milkyish, cloudyish yellowish color that's the only way I can describe it not good she was very concerned and so she did blood work and decided to recheck my kidneys my liver and she also had me do a urine sample and that showed protein um which protein in your urine um can be kidney damage which isn't good but it could also mean that you have a UTI um, and other infections. So she wants to recheck me next month. And I'm going to show you pictures. Um, I was put on antibiotics because I ended up having an ear infection I didn't even know. And I also had uh, BV. It's not a sexual transmitted disease. It's bacterial uh, vaginosis. And I got it because I changed laundry detergent. And I take 6 to 12 baths a day to help with my pain. Um, because I can't take pain meds. So that caused me to get an infection down there. So I was on oral antibiotics for my ear and cream for there. And I'll show you pictures of what my pee looked like. So you don't... So you don't like if it happens so you don't freak out like I did here you go yeah so you've seen the pictures of the urine after being on antibiotics now it's back to normal but when that happens like the pictures of the urine you either have you're on antibiotics or you have a really bad infection get looked at or it could mean liver disease or kidney failure so you want to definitely get seen by your doctor um, for a little over a week being off the medication my urines get in to be where it's normal where there's no floaty things in it because you don't want anything like that in there because that usually means protein um, yeah, I know, gross, but I was scared and freaking out, and I'm sure other people are going through it too, so that way they know it's, you know, if it happens, what to do, and what it means, or could mean. Um, so now, moving on from that, um, I see her uh, next month to get everything checked, and I'm sure my urine will be good. I will keep you posted. Um, my blood work should be good. I've been watching my sodium intake, my sugar intake, um, been eating more spinach and salmon, and spinach with cheese tastes so good. So good. Um, because I have to have calcium for my osteoporosis. Um, but also, um, I went back and seen the genetic cancer, uh, center place here in my state. And I couldn't pay the $250. My oldest son was willing to try to help me. He's so sweet. Both my kids, all my kids, I'm very blessed. My two oldest, um, you know, they always check up on me, make sure I'm good. I don't need anything. And so I'm blessed to have six amazing kids. But, um... My the genetic cancer testing called back and I told them I said I can't I can't pay the 250 my son said he's going to try to help me pay it I don't know when that's going to be I'm also trying to save up money to do a funeral for my dad and she goes we told you we would we had other ways to go about this and she was what did they tell you if you didn't have the money I said they told me if I didn't have the money within 60 days I just have to do the blood work again. Not a big deal. And she goes, no, we have other ways. Um, if you let, give me permission, 
I will send in the documents and apply for the grant and to pay for, for all of this. And I'm like, okay. She goes, I already have all the paperwork. They just need to know your uh, history of cancer, your family's history, all that. We already have it. Not a big deal. I'm like, okay. So she did all that and sent me an email and I had to sign the document and send it back in. Not a big deal. And then I get an email back stating I was approved. Good. And so then I went in this month, we went over the results, and she said that um, if my children or grandchildren, anyone linked to me, like my kids, um, and their kids, whatever, um, won't get cancer from my side. But if they happen to get it, and I pray that they don't, it will come from like their father's side or you know stuff like that my children's father's side um and just because it doesn't run on i don't um i won't pass on any of the cancer genes doesn't mean like my siblings won't have it um and it's not just because we have different dads um she just said that just because i it stops with me doesn't mean that it will necessarily they won't have the genes um, so they want, they can get tested. And so we went through that. Um, and she wants me in February to do an MRI with and without the contrast. I don't know if you know what that means. It means with or without the dye so they can get a better picture. And that's to help also catch breast cancer um, early. Because mammogram, you know, shows but an MRI will show you more. And with the contrast, the dye, I know it's hard on your kidneys. So I'm kind of eerie about that because I'm trying to keep my kidneys from not failing, from staying healthy, and keep my liver, you know, good too. Um, but I know that will affect kidneys. It can. And... So I don't know if I'm going to go that route. I was supposed to even have a MRI done on my heart um, to make sure I don't have sarcoidosis there. But the, my specialist sent me to his partner. And his partner deals with patients that have sarcoidosis there. And I don't have any of the symptoms. Granted, a lot of times you don't when you have sarcoidosis. But he wants to do the MRI with... And without the contrast also. And I'm just eerie when it comes to that. I'm scared actually to mess up my kidneys. Because not everyone that does the contrast will put the clear fluid through to help out your kidneys. You know. They just put the dye and then you're supposed to go and drink. They hope send you up and hope that you drink plenty of water. Um, I do now. But before no. Um, so that lady finally did call me to set up the MRI for that. And I told her I'm going to hold off on it just because I want to wait, um, see about my kidneys next month. And also I'm not having the symptoms that he was talking about. So, and he doesn't think I have it. And he deals with patients that do have a circulose in their heart. So granted, I don't want to wait until... I do have issues, but my heart specialist, I think he was more concerned because I went in to the hospital, the ER, back in March. I think around like the 13th, around there. My heart was beating at 130. It's not supposed to be that high. And they listed in my medical report from the ER that I had a heart attack that day. And... I think that's what my heart specialist is looking at and thinking, okay, it must, might be circles. Let's get it looked at and be on the safe side. But I also was coming out with COVID around that time and didn't know it. Now, if you guys get COVID, make sure no pop. Don't do like I did. I was in a lot of pain because of the COVID. So when I'm in pain, I drink more pop. 
that seems to help me. And it made things worse. That's when my kidneys started acting up. So make sure you drink plenty of water, um, vitamin C and vitamin D or the two major ones to fight off COVID. But if you're going outside to get vitamin D, make sure you wear a mask, don't touch anything anyone else is touching and stay away from people. Um, but yeah, those are the two ones that will help you and drink plenty of fluids. I was drinking vitamin C, like orange juice and Pedialyte. PLA is supposed to help keep you hydrated. Apparently, I wasn't drinking enough. So, just be careful when you do get COVID. Um, it's a horrible, horrible illness. I'm lucky I survived it. But I also, since I wasn't the smartest and didn't drink enough water like I thought I was, um, that's when my kidneys started dropping. And when they drop, they drop fast. So be careful. So that's what's going on with me. I'll, oh, I went to the eye doctor's also this month. And he found out I have cataracts. Um, and this is what my eyes look like. That's the inside of my eyes. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I have cataracts. My sarcoidosis in my eyes, uh, he said... Isn't damaging my eyes um, as fast as the cataracts? And I got new glasses. See, these are my only glasses that are pink. But it's cool when the like the light hits it. It's kind of like a goldish color. It changes colors, but it, yeah, it's a pink. And um, he wanted the sun protection on it, and that was too much. So I got the glare protection, so that way if I'm in someone's car and they need me to also be the eyes, because sometimes that happens, um, this will keep it for the glare of the car lights or the street lights. won't hit me and I won't get blind. And it also helps like if my vision's uh, extremely blurry, I can still see. Um, but sometimes, you know, my vision's too blurry and these don't help but uh i'm happy to have them and i'm happy that he caught the cataracts so there's that but i guess when you start getting older you start falling apart some more than others and some less than others just like some suffer before they pass and some people don't so, um, oh, and I got all my documents filled out. I just have to save them uh, and print them out and notarize it and sign it and give it to my doctor about when my health gets worse, who's in charge of me, what are my wishes. Um, I was thinking about not getting the cataract surgery, but I'm going to. And I was also thinking about filling out those papers, um, if I need an organ transplant, I was going to do it because I just figured no matter of time, those organs will get sarcoidosis. But, and your body could reject it and you could die anyways. Um, but I think with everything and seeing things in a different light, I'm, I'm willing to do an organ transplant when and if that time comes. So I can be here longer with my kids. And if sarcoidosis gets to it, maybe it will take its time and not get to it right away. And if that gives me a couple more days with my kids, that's a couple more days. Or it could even give me years. So I, I think I'm going to do that if it comes time. I want to be here as long as I can for my children. Right, well, there's my updates. Um, prayers and everything helps. And y'all are in my prayers as well. This is a horrible illness. Sarcoidosis and lupus is, we need a cure. We really do. People, more people need to be aware about this 
all this. Much love you guys. Bye.